All right, this is uh, case number 22, CR 130, State of Ohio versus Stevie Don Colder. Present for the state is uh, Assistant Prosecutor King. Present on behalf of the defendant is uh, Attorney Dennis Kirk. Are you Stevie Don Coulter? Yes. Pardon me? Yes, sir. All right, are you all right, Ms. Colter? I can't hear you. You have a really bad headache? Um, anything else wrong with you? All right. Well, we'll go ahead and have this pre-trial, but there's a couple of things I want to talk about but after that. Um, this was actually set for a hearing, I believe, uh, for the defendant to uh, enter in a uh, plea for treatment in lieu of conviction, or at least have the hearing on that. Um, I have a report from the probation department that um, she's been testing positive for um, gabapentin, marijuana, methamphetamine, and amphetamine. Hasn't reported since the 21st of September. Um, called on the 29th, said she didn't have a ride, wanted to be rescheduled, has not contacted since then. Uh, he referred to Cap Talbert House for an assessment. There's been no um, contact there uh, they've had from, uh, from Talbert. Um, so but just. I just have a question. Does it even test for gabapentin on a tip panel drug test? What's that now? Does it test for a gabapentin on a tip panel drug test? Okay. That's what Ms. Tavern, I was or Miss. Because uh, someone said that to me in the PO's office. And I, I mean, I, I, I'm a very intelligent person, and I know a lot, and I just look stuff up all the time. And I mean, I can't. It's hard for me to plea in lieu of, honestly, because of the things that I found in this. That's like kind of like I don't know. Miss Colter, I'm going to have you drug tested here. Probation officers here. I'm going to have them drug test you. See. I've never been in trouble. No, I just got beat the shit out of by a dude who left a bite mark on my arm, and my head hurts now because of it. Like, I mean, he beat me up until I was literally talking retarded. And in this statement from the police, from this one, it says, then I identified female Stevie Coulter, not Stevie Coulter identified herself after her social security number. So he arrested me based off of. Okay, well, I've that's not what we're here about before. here today, Ms. Colter. Um, it's clear that, um, that you're not in a but situation. But they lied also, though, Judge. They you don't, lied. And don't interrupt me, Ms. Colter. Ms. Colter, be, be quiet. Wrong. Be quiet. Don't speak. Because they lied. Be quiet, I said. They lied. I'm not lying. I said be quiet. You understand me? They lied. All right, I'm holding you in contempt. And you're going to be sentenced to jail for 10 days. Now, if you open up your mouth again, we're and you need to stay on topic here. All right. Gonna you're going to go to jail for 10 days right now. I'm going to have you tested by the probation department. Okay, so. And uh, then we'll decide what's going to happen. I already did a drug test. I already did a mental health assessment when I got out on the terms of the first time I went out. Or I got out when I first Ms. originally got Coulter, out. Coulter, you're disrupting I, I, this proceeding. I proceed. promise you I'm trying not to be, I'm not trying to be like that. Yeah, you're, you're But it's yes, in black and right. It's, it's right there. All right. I highlighted it. Then I identified within the first three lines. I don't even know what you're talking about because it has nothing From to do that, with what we're here for today. The police officer that arrested me, it was wrongful arrest. And then I had five cops on me. All right, you have an attorney. I had five cops on me. Ms. Coulter, you have an attorney. I wasn't even being... What? I didn't even touch that girl. Uh, it was my only form of Take her defense. into custody. Put a cup on her. It was my only form of defense. You're going to, you're going and, to jail, and we're going to have you uh, tested. It was my only form. I, I want you to. You test me. You already did. So what? Has she been drug tested today? I'm All not right. on fucking drugs today. I have a headache. 
Hey, That's enough, Mr. Killer. That's fucking, I don't even know where he's at. Hey, what are you back? I got to give him a shit. Mr. Kirk, I think you need to file a request uh, to have this defendant evaluated for mental health. I think it, uh. You want to help her. If you would, I was trying to say this. I don't know if you heard me or not. I'm sure, sure you are, you have mentioned it already. Obviously, she needs a mental health uh, evaluation. Yeah. Yeah. Are they on their way? Well, next time he leaves like that, let me know because I did not know. I, I, I knew I was going to have her taken in custody. I didn't know he wasn't here. All right. So. Ten days no. contempt. I don't leave my house because of this man. And then file your evaluation. All right. Thank you, Judge. Signed. Thank you. All right. And is that Mr. Edlin in the jail there? Yes, sir. Please don't infringe on my right to bear arms. Did you click me up? All right. So, Mr. R. Curry, just to make a record with the defendant present. I will. Uh, so, go ahead. If I may, Your Honor, back on October 24th, 2022, uh, Mr. Edlin entered a plea of guilty to the charge of unlawful possession of firearm in the second degree. Uh, 29 days later, on November 22nd, the court entered an order uh, having him evaluated for competency. That order, that that evaluation has been completed. I have reviewed that evaluation. It finds him competent. So the state and I have handed forward an agreed order finding Mr. Edlund competent. I believe speedy trial now starts again with 29 days having been used, giving us 31 more days as of today, December 12th. My calculation of Mr. Edlin's speedy trial is January 12, 2023. I'm asking the court to set trial. Mr. Edlin has an offer. He is not yet accepted. So I would ask the court to set trial and set pre-trial next week, since I expect the trial is probably going to be January 10. All right, Ms. Steuben, court administration, are you online with us? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so we have a situation here with Mr. James Edland. He's number five on the 1 p.m. docket. Um, there was some speedy trial that had elapsed prior to the competency order and the staying of the proceedings. So now we have a shortened time frame for speedy. There is no waiver and no resolution. So I need a trial date within the next 30 days. And I was hopeful that January 10th was available. We can put it on for January 10th. All right. And the defendant stipulates that is a speedy trial, correct, Mr. R. Curry? I've made the record. I believe speedy trial, actually, Your Honor, by my calculation, which is the correct calculation, January 12th is speedy trial. So, and I think 11th to 10th is fine because any continuances of that trial date would be excluded. So we're, we're, we're fine within time. So readiness hearing is going to be on January 3, then, Your Honor? Correct. And pretrial next week. Thank you, Your Honor. And that'll give Mr. Edlin one more week to decide whether or not to accept the state's very generous offer. Okay. Um, excuse me, Your Honor. Can I make one? If if I do accept this, if I do accept this. Mr. Gad Mr. Mr. Edlin, the judge is not going to make any promises to you, and he's not going to discuss any plea agreements. It's inappropriate for him to do so. Okay, please don't infringe on my right to bear arms. Please, sir. Please, please, please. Please, I 
Mr. Edlund, quit begging. That's by law, not by judge's decision. We're done, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, court assigned the Eric Roberson judgment and sentence in open court with the defendant present. Thank you very much. Okay, who do you have there at the jail? Christopher Powell. Uh, 22 CR 360 and 22 CR 370. And Miss Jordan, where did you get to? Oh, fiddlesticks. She was there. She was an Adeline. Yeah. Hey, Brenda, this is Malcolm. Uh, we have Christopher Powell. So I don't know if you want to try to get in or just do it by phone, or can you do either one? My phone. I, apologize. I, thought it was bad. Um, I just got that one. Can we set that over to that 24th day? Uh, January 24th? Yeah. Okay. All right. I have uh, Mr. Powell. I have your attorney on the phone here, Brenda Jordan. She had to be occupied elsewhere. That's why she's not on Zoom. But we're going to continue your cases. Uh, she just now got the cases, Mr. Powell. So we're continuing those cases for status to January 24th, 2023 at 1 p.m. And we'll do that again by Zoom, Mr. Powell, with you being in custody. <sighs> Any, anything else you want me to tell him, Mr. Ms. Jordan? Just let him know as soon as I get into the case, by protocol, I'll get a motion on file and get it on docket for bond. Okay, she's gonna be filing a motion on your case, Mr. Powell, to regarding your bond. So she will be getting that done and- I can't have a bond, I can't have a bond. Why is that? Detainer. I have a parole detainer. I, I, there's no, there's no oh, reason. He, he says he has a parole detainer. So if he was bonded out, you'd have to go to KDOC. Is that what would happen to you? Oh, no, no. If I was bonded out, I'd have to stay here for uh, my parole officer, John, to come up here and reinstate. Okay. But, All right. So are you saying, Mr. Powell, you don't want her to file a motion on your bond? Just leave it alone? No, because you'll deny it. Yeah, I mean, it will get denied. It don't matter. Uh, over here, say I'm here on a Cora. Oh my God, because somebody said whatever. And it shows proof that nobody even seen me going to the house. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying, I'm here. You will not give me bond. You will not deny, you will not be okay with it. I cannot make bond. My family is dead. There's nobody's going to be able to pay $1,800 fucking dollars to get me out. Okay, you know, Mr. I'm, I'm Mr. Sick. Powell, you, you've made your point. Your Just, lawyer is uh, requesting that uh, she'll get into the case, and we've got to set for January 24th at 1 p.m. via Zoom for status. They're playing friendship up here in this, in this jail. It really sucks. An officer, a CO, drops the lid of the water onto the ground, unsanitary, puts it back in, and I'm like, hey, that's not supposed to go. My butt and my intercom talk to them. I'm afraid of a failure to appear, sir. I don't want one because of the fact that would impede on me getting OR or some blessing in my life, which I never had. I never did anything wrong in my life except what I did wrong, okay? I, it, was, it was so technical in my life. That here I am sitting before you looking at life again. I did not do a Quora. I would not do that. Okay. All right, Mr. Powell, I need to get on to the other cases I have. These are things you need to be telling your attorney, and she's hearing you. So, uh, again, uh, jail staff, January 24th, 2023, at 1 p.m. via Zoom. That's all on your cases today, Mr. Powell. Thank you. You can, uh, you have other cases, Ms. Jordan, especially anybody in custody? Let me take a look here. Uh, we had Wooten, we had Prime, we had Powell. I think we've got all our jail staff people done. Corrections officer, do we have any more jail people? I think that was it, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Hopefully you can get him under control. Uh, thank you, Ms. Jordan. You can go. All right, sorry, Judge. No, that's fine. No problem. Bye.